What's up guys, Valder Night Games here, bringing you guys something a little bit different. Uh, this is going to be an unboxing of the Kanto U5 speaker system that I ordered from Massdrop. And I have had them, let's see, probably about four or five months now. And I know that's uh, putting this up late and after the fact, but I really wanted to test them out uh, for a while and get a good feel for what they're like. Uh, this is, you know, my first fairly high-end speaker system. Uh, I'll post a link in the description to Mastrop's site as well as Canto's so you can check out some of the specs and details for yourself because this is just going to be an unboxing video uh, sound as many of you probably know can't be transferred with all the encoding and everything through YouTube very well so you won't really get the true sound out of these anyway <clears throat> but I'm gonna go ahead and do the unboxing here anyway so this is the box that Mastrop sends it in or uh, you know they re repackage with their tape on it it's pretty much the, the Canto box anyway and then this is the actual retail box that you would see uh, if you were able to actually purchase these in store somewhere. Uh, and here on the front you have the white ones. I actually got the matte black just to match my whole current computer setup. And, uh, you know, trying to zoom in here, get you some specs. But again, like I said, uh, I'll put a link into this description. Uh, so one of the reasons I chose these uh, there's the back of the second speaker. The first, or there's the second one. The first one has all the extras on it. Different color options, different lineup of the other Canto speakers. A uh, couple of reasons I chose these. They were a pretty good deal on Mastrop at the time. Uh, MSRP is $4.99. I don't know how true that cost is across other retail sites. Um, however, I got them on Mastrop. Was shipping uh, for I want to say about three hundred dollars with shipping. <clears throat> so if five hundred is about the true cost, again I don't know if it is. Then you know it's a about a two hundred dollars savings. They have it comes with a nice remote, comes with Bluetooth built in, uh, which is just a convenience because most people you aren't going to be using. Bluetooth just to stream your music and whatnot anyway. Uh, you're going to have that hardwired connection. So here I'm pulling out the first speaker. You can see the matte black. They come very nicely wrapped up in that uh, kind of almost like a cheesecloth material. There's the <coughs> main speaker on the bottom, tweeter up top. We have the post on the back to connect to your main speaker. So this is the secondary one. Canto U5 on the back. Now, let's see, I should be pulling out the second one. I believe I'm just setting this down on the uh, cloth bag that came with it. So here's the main speaker. It is much heavier. Again, this one packaged in that cheesecloth material. <laughs> Thinking back to this, that uh, didn't seem like that bright of an idea, using my knife on, on that. But, uh, you know, very sharp, so I wasn't concerned about going too deep. I just needed to clip the tape. Uh, so there's the other one. There's the first one. on You, you can see on the front it has that, uh, on the left, bottom left, it has the Bluetooth sensor and your lights there. And on the right it has the, the turn knob. Here's your back power, uh, all your connections. Your other post, it has a USB charging port on the back as well, which I have found very con very convenient over the past couple months. Uh, I like to keep my uh, wireless headset uh, USB cord in there. Uh, here's the manual. So my wireless headset, those are uh, little feet for them, which are very nice too to isolate the, them from your desk. Here's the box, comes with batteries for the remote. So that's nice, always nice when they include batteries. Here's the remote itself. So a very, very nice, fully intuitive remote. Uh, gives you all your options on there. 
here's your power cable nothing special you've got your audio cord here just to uh, connect the two to each other and you've got your auxiliary cord as well so it's nice they include everything in there uh, for you instead of you just leaving it as is <coughs> uh, yeah. so as I was saying I like to keep my there's a shot with both of them in there uh, as I said I like to keep my wireless headset uh, you know plugged into the back of my speaker and it keeps it charged so there's everything that comes with it you got your cables you got the remote batteries you got your two speakers <laughs> drop the drop the camera there uh, and that's pretty much it thanks guys